Welcome back to PE for week number five and week number six. Had to use two hands, we've been going for so long. Our warm up for this week is the same for preps and year one twos. So if you have a brother or sister, you can do the warm up together and the second part of the lesson will be to have a different sport focus. For our warm up, you need your trusty towel and a little toy or a little ball, all right? Pause the video and go and grab those things. All right, thanks for going to collect your towel and your toy. For now, just pop your toy on the side. You don't need them just yet. First activity, figure eight, 10 times. We're going to jump over the towel, run around the edge, and jump again. Remember, two feet together when we go. We need to jump from one side of the tower to the other, feet together, ten times. If you're up for a challenge, we're going to try the scissors. Start with your feet, one on each side of the tower. When you jump, cross your feet over and land with the opposite foot on each side. Pretty tricky. Activity number three for our warm up, you're going to need a partner or an assistant. I've got Jen here. We're going to play a game of Tiggy. In this game, one of you is being tugged and the other person is the tagger. The rule is though, you're not allowed to jump over the towel. So you've got to run around either side. Jen is it. This time, I'm it. <laughs> well done. I forgot to tell you, you're also not allowed to reach over the top of the towel to tag them either. Last warm up game, it's time to use your toy and your teddy as well as your partner. We're going to place our toy or ball or socks even if you want to in the middle of the towel. Join the two corners together and with your partner on the count of three you're going to open up the towel and your ball will fly out really high. And then you have to try and catch it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. basketball games together. We're going to start with one of our favourites, Ship, Shark, Shore. However, you need to dribble your basketball to each line. So get yourself set up. Don't worry if you don't have any lines, just use toys as your markers. Once you've got... Are you ready? I'm ready! Shark! Ship! Sure. Sure. Oh, Got you. Okay, ready? Yep. Ship. Shark. Ship. If you've got a family 
family member who can call out the words for you, feel free to keep playing for a little bit longer. So now we've practiced our dribbling, we're going to practice our passing, starting with our chest passes. What I really want to see today is you stepping forward and then passing. All right, remember that, step and then pass. For this game, we've got 10 markers. I've used paper plates, but you can use anything you like at home. And you need to have a captain in the middle. Your captain is going to pass you the ball as you are at each marker around the circle and then pass it back to you. Sorry, I should say you pass it back to them. You're going to time how long it takes you to get all the way around the circle. I'm going to put my timer on. If you don't have a person to be in the middle of your circle, just pop your laundry basket in there. Alright, to finish off our basketball lesson today, we're going to try and play a little bit of a game. Now, I've seen lots of your videos and lots of people are lucky enough to have a basketball ring. But again, if you don't, that's fine. Just use your laundry basket for this game. We're going to try and combine all the different skills we've been learning. Dribbling, passing and shooting into a little game against an opponent. Let's go. One good thing to play when you're playing against one other person is to try and take the ball out when you rebound it and then bring it back in. basketball activities and don't forget to upload a video or a photo to show me how you went. Have fun everyone! <laughs>